so for this project you need to add libraries how to add library these four jar files you need to add to class path right click on application right click go to build path configure build path go to library add external jars so which jar files we need to add commons logging one commons logging jar file this one is commons logging and spring beans spring beans spring core and spring context add these four add these four jars to your class path then after adding these four jar files to class path write classes in src copy paste yeah test class created write to driver class you need to import all this right sorry resource and the class path resource bean factory xml bean factory and the test class import all these after all these imports create one resource folder and copy your xml file spring okay resources package or resources uh, create a package new package resources inside this resources create a file spring dot xml file copy this that's it then run your client hello so how many objects this factory get bean method will create it will create test class object right so in test class constructor write a debug statement write a default constructor system dot out dot print ln write something test constructor how many times constructor will execute usually when we need to execute constructor while creating object, object. while creating object we need to execute test class constructor so <coughs> while creating each object it need to create i mean it need to call one one time your constructor so whenever i try to call this get bean method by using my ioc container class <coughs> it is creating one test class object in case again if i call object wo o1 o2 o3 o4 if i call multiple times will it create multiple objects Sarlet container will it, will it create sarlet objects multiple times? Only one object it will create. Sarlet class is not a singleton, but your Tomcat container will make that class object as a singleton. Means only one single sarlet object your container will create. In the same way, your test class object also it will create only one single object if you call it multiple times also. If you try to call multiple times also, it will create only one single object. You can compare all these objects object 1 object 2 object 3 how to compare these objects how to know whether that objects are equal or not object reference double equal to again object reference to compare two objects we need to use double equal to If these three objects are same, then it will return as true and true and true. True, true, it will return. True and true. Those two objects, those three objects are equal objects. Means it is creating only one single object. 
means your factory class your ioc factory your ioc factory class how many times it is creating object whenever i try to load my xml file into ioc container ioc container creating only one singleton object From this IOC, if I call get bean method multiple times, if I call get bean method multiple times, if you have a class, test a class here. If you configure the test class here by using reference t and the class name test. By using get bean of t, if multiple users if they call, how many objects it will create? it will create only one single object in your jvm it will create only one single test class object at first time user request it will create then for the next user's request onwards the same reference it will return to the users so here object scope is singleton scope here your object scope is singleton that scopes you can change here my being class object is single done in case if you want to change that scope then you can configure scope equal to single done opposite prototype single done means only one object for entire application prototype means for every request one one object so if you configure scope equal to prototype then for every user request it will create one one object <coughs> attribute scope must be declared okay here you should not use scope single turn single turn is true or false you need to configure by default it is true in case if i configure false it is prototype three times it is executing my constructor and while comparing the three objects what it is returning here false and false means that three objects are different for every user request here it is creating one one new object for each user request it will create one one new object in case of scope equal to prototype if it is a prototype then it will create multiple instances if the scope is single done only one single instance it will create for any number of users request in case of prototype scope it will create only yeah, it will create multiple objects if the scope is singleton if the scope singleton scope if it is true if it is a singleton then for multiple users request it will create only one single instance that same instance it will return to all the colors actually we have two scopes only here that is singleton and prototype for our bean classes we can able to configure for this bean classes we can able to configure scopes singleton and prototype singleton and prototype singleton scope and prototype scope so the scope you can declare by using scope attribute not by using singleton here you can use scope attribute so in case if you want to use scope attribute instead of singleton instead of adding this dtd you need to add spring 2.0 dtd actually this one is default dtd instead of using this default dtd if you go through this spring 2.0 dtd spring 2.0 dtd yeah if you go through this dtd spring 2.0 dtd
If you go through the this print 2.0 DTD instead of using singleton here you can use scope scope equal to singleton by default it is singleton instead of singleton you can configure prototype in case of singleton one single object in case of prototype for every request one one new object so here you can configure scope by using which attribute scope attribute <coughs> scope equal to singleton default is singleton or else you can configure prototype only two scopes we have for simple beans singleton and prototype if it is a web application along with these two scopes you can add two more scopes request scope and session scope and context scope also you can add okay three scopes along with these two you can add three more scopes single time in mean request session and context scopes but that scopes only valid for web applications not for standalone okay in case of web application we can see the remaining scopes for web applications only we can use them <coughs> so internally your ioc container what it is doing after reading spring xml file document whenever you try to call get bean of t it will try to search for the references if it find any reference by using t that t reference class object it will create how many objects it will create if it is a singleton one object it will create the same object it will return to the next to caller one like if you try to call multiple times get bean method factory dot get bean if you call get bean of t first time it will search for this reference for this reference if it find a class and it will read that scope if it is a singleton it will create object again if you try to call the same reference factory dot get bean of t again if you call this t reference what it will do here the scope is singleton then what it will do here if the scope is singleton it will try to search for the existing object if it find existing object the same reference it will return to the user but if the scope is prototype it will create for every request one one new object in this way we can create objects of poso classes so by using which container class we are creating object of posos which container it is core container in case if you want to use advanced container here if you want to use advanced container advanced ioc container if you want to use here so you can write instead of this code instead of writing this code you can write this code here application context ap equal to new class path xml application context directly you can pass your spring xml file references here resources slash spring.xml file by using this ap reference you can call get bean method the basic difference between this application context and bean factory is what when bean factory container will create object of text class at first time calling get bean method while calling first time get bean method while calling this first time get bean method it will create text class object but coming to this application context while loading your xml file itself it will create object before calling get bean method itself it will create object of your test class but in case of core container it will create object of your test class on demand only getting with load on startup without load on startup if you see sir let's 
load on startup starlet object it will create at the time of loading time itself without load on startup if you configure any starlet that starlet object it will create at the time of first user request so without load on startup this bean factory container class is like without load on startup starlet container without load on startup what happens at the time of first user request only it will create starlet object in the same way this bean factory also at first time user request only it will create object of your test class but coming to this application context at the time of loading your xml file itself it will create instance of your test class so you can say this application context is a eager container or early container eager container and you can say this bean factory container is a lazy container this lazy container on demand only it will create object but whereas application context while loading itself it will create object while loading itself it will create your class object so which one is better on demand or while loading why if i have thousand classes here if i have thousand test classes here while loading itself if i create object how many objects it will create thousand objects if it is a on demand only one object it will create only one bean class object it will create so which one is better based on actually if you have thousand classes that thousand classes for what purpose we need to configure here to execute on your application itself right so today it is not useful but tomorrow you may require that class objects right in case if you if you create objects on demand what happens for creating one class object if you take 10 minutes time so first user if one user if a user if you try to execute your test class while creating object of test class how many how many minutes he need to wait up to 10 minutes he need to wait so for that 1000 users while requesting 1000 users that 1000 users they need to wait for each user they need to wait for 10 10 minutes but at the time of loading time itself if i create objects okay tomorrow i am going to announcing my or tomorrow i am going to release my product before releasing my product if i deploy before 10 hours before or 20 hours before before users request it used to create all the objects and that objects it will make available to the users so then users job will become simple right if they request directly it will, it will return instead of waiting them for 10 minutes so which approach is best approach on load on startup eager loading is better approach instead of lazy loading eager loading is better approach for servlets also you can create instances at the time of loading time itself instead of at first time user request if it is first time user request our browser need to rotate for 10 minutes means if you have 10 minutes task then 10 minutes it used to rotate but if it is a like eager servlet load on startup servlet at the time of deployment time itself it will create that servlet object in case if user request immediately it will perform user operations so you better to use eager container instead of using lazy container and this lazy container is not having capabilities of eager container eager eager container i mean application context container is having many features that all features we don't have in bean factory so only the recommended container is application context is a recommended container it is having many features okay 